Welcome to the Game Maker Academy. In this video, we'll be taking a quick look at logic in the Game Maker. When using the Game Maker, we're referring to logic as a series of interactions and rules that define potential outcomes once an action, referred to as a trigger, takes place. An example of this kind of system is turning on a light. When you flick the switch, an electrical message is sent through wires, and when the message is received by the light, the light will turn on. We can achieve this kind of relationship in the game maker by adjusting parameters in the behaviors and components that are added to objects. For example, you can create a sequence where interacting with a door will trigger the animation for it to open, or using a similar process, make it so that if a button is pressed, then a door will open, or when a button is pressed, a beach ball shoots into the sky, or if you pick up a treasure, skeletons appear. You get the idea. This represents a simple logical chain between the action and the outcome. A slightly more complex series of events would be that instead of just pressing the button to open the door, you need to have collected a specific item, let's say a key, before the button will work, and then the door will open. In this scenario, picking up the key sends a message to the button, which triggers a switch and turns on the button behavior so that when the button is pressed, it will then send a message to the door, and when received, the door will open. Let's take it a little further using the same line of logic. You could also apply this same process to the object of a TNT detonator. A player could retrieve a key, which allows them to press a button, which then sends a message to the receiving object, which, in this case, triggers a void behavior, destroying all the objects and blocks in the defined area. While these are different scenarios with slightly different underlying connections, the important thing to note here is that each example relies on similar underlying principles. Understanding this empowers you to think about how you can establish relationships between behaviors and components by adjusting parameters for triggers and messages. In case this topic leaves you feeling a bit out of your depths, Hang in there. Remember that the game maker does a lot of the heavy lifting for you. For example, if you add a door to your experience and it has the door behavior applied to it, then by default, when an avatar interacts with the door by pressing E, the door will open. Simple as that. That being said, once you have a handle on the basic principles, you might surprise yourself with how quickly you're able to start applying more complex layers of logic when designing your experiences. So give it a go and be sure to share your inventions in the Game Maker Discord channel.